Hello, hello, and welcome back, everyone. In um, this episode, um, we're going to jump into a new project, and we won't be doing any painting, at least not right now. And um, you might be wondering, like, why do I see a Star Wars Black Series figure and a Mythic Legions figure in frame? And that is because we're going to do a little uh, cloth custom here by taking this cloth... Uh, cape set, robe set, whatever, um, from Kylo Ren, and <laughs> Valiant Knight will be taking that. So let me pull these out of the way for right now. And as you can see back here, I have done this project a couple of different times, and I enjoy it very much so. So the first step is to get our hot water bath going. And there we are. And now we're going to get our Valiant Knight out of the package and into the bath. So I have been boiling the water in my kettle uh, before I started this video just to speed up the process a little bit because if you followed any of my other videos, you know that. Uh, I just do these in one shot. There's no editing, there's no uh, fancy um, film work going on. I feel that uh, just being honest and direct and not doing any kind of... I mean, I, I will do some things off camera. I'm not trying to, you know. Um, anyways, let's get our Valiant Knight into the bath. Yeah, right. Um, what I was going to say was, um, you know, just, I feel like as far as post-production videos, there are hundreds, thousands, uh, maybe even millions probably, of YouTubers out there that do a phenomenal, highly entertaining job of that. And my my intent with, with these videos is more or less... Um, but mostly more to just give a how-to instructional um, to, an inside to you know here's how I do it here's my process and if it helps you fantastic that's wonderful um, but it's not something that I'm trying to dedicate a bunch of extra time beyond my normal day-to-day -day and you know nine to five if you will um, so we're gonna let this Valiant Knight bathe a little bit and we'll just grab a towel out here and pull it out pat it down a little bit here and pull the torso apart and then what we're going to do is pop the head and then we're going to take our torso and arms and we're going to drop those in. Now, in that bath, that is, it is not bubbling, boiling hot water, but it is still hot. So um, what I use is just a simple pair of tongs here. Nothing super fancy, but they prevent my fingers from getting burnt. So that is a positive, uh, a baggie of goodies with our Mythic Legions. Um, it's going to set those off to the side. And in case you were wondering about the unboxing of Kylo Ren, I'm actually not going to do that on camera. Uh, since I've done this project a number of times, I uh, routinely look for some fodder and I am thankful to already have a derobed Kylo for our project. So. That will speed up the process as well. And I'm just going to pop off these uh, folds for our figure. And set that to the side. And just giving, giving our, uh, our hero or villain, however you want to make this character turn out to be, uh, a nice bath. All right, that should be enough. 
and your tongs, pull them out. And if you feel when you're starting to pull that it is not enough heat, put them back in. Don't force it. That's when breaks happen. So I am just going to, oh, perfect. All right, perfect. Okay, so now I've got my torso, arms, and move the tongs off to the side. I can move this towel now, get that out, make things a little bit clearer and more visible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this torso and I want to feed it up through the bottom of this robe. And it does take a little bit of shimmying. And you see the neck peg peeking out. There we go. <laughs> a little far there. That's okay. And you can align the holes to the arms and pop the arms back in. Arms back in. All right. And now. <laughs> All right, let's pop that arm back in. Okay, there we go. And all right, we can we can fine tune things here a bit later. But while the plastic is still warm, there is a process to this, and there are a couple different methods you can go. Um, I'm going to go direct. I'm going to take these these robes and take them directly down through. Now, in doing this. It does get tight and it will stretch the plastic a little bit. Um, in my experience, it will not stretch the plastic to the point that it ruins it. So there we go. Now you will want to make sure that you get things sorted so that there's no twist. And there we go. And now we flip our figure upside down. We're going to find that ball right there. We're going to go into the hole. Now, because we have the skirt on, it will be a bit tighter, but hopefully you heard that pop. Um, that's a very satisfying pop, nonetheless. And now we have our, let's pop the head on just to see what that looks like. Yeah, we can even, we can leave that hood down. But there we go. Valiant Knight with the black tunic. Oh, <laughs> stand up. <laughs> yeah, let's push that torso back further onto the ball. Um, things are still warm, and I'm starting to move things around, being an, being impatient. Um, you want to let this cool down before you start moving things around, because the beauty of the warm plastic is that it allows you to manipulate and contort and do some things. But once it cools down back to room temperature, you'll be able to move this guy around um, perfectly fine as you normally would. So um, this is a super quick, uh, looks like I'm able to get this done under 10 minutes, uh, how to, and hope you've enjoyed this. And if so, um, love to see what you make of it. And if you've got another kind of go-to fodder, um, would love to hear about that as well. So thanks again and see you in the next.